Imagine putting on a pair of glasses and instantly turning any device into a giant screen floating in front of your eyes. That's exactly what the Xreal One Pro delivers, a sleek pair of augmented reality glasses that convert your phone, laptop, or console into a private immersive display. From watching a movie on a long flight to having a virtual ultra-wide monitor for work, these glasses redefine what screen time can look like in the 2020s. So let's dive in and explore what the X-Rail 1 Pro is, how it works, what features make it special, how you can use it, what limitations to be aware of, and ultimately whether it's worth the investment. By the end, you'll have a full picture of what this device offers and whether it's the right fit for you. First, at its simplest. The XREAL1 Pro is a pair of AR augmented reality glasses, built by XREAL, that provide a virtual display in front of your eyes. Rather than watching on a TV or monitor, you're seeing the content on your face and around you, while still being able to see your surroundings, depending on the mode. Unlike traditional VR headsets that block out the real world, the One Pro uses a see-through design and advanced optics so the screen appears overlaid or projected. This means you can remain aware of your room, your keyboard, or even the person next to you while seeing the giant virtual display. Under the hood, the One Pro comes equipped with a self-developed X1 spatial computing chip from XREAL, which handles the virtual screen, tracking, latency, and display output. With that chip, the device promises very low motion to photon latency around 3 milliseconds and very smooth visuals. Critical when you're looking at a floating screen you control with your head movements. One of the standout features is the optics. The glasses use a flat prism optical engine rather than bulky birdbath style optics, which offers a wider field of view, FOV of 57 in the Pro model. That means you can see more of the virtual screen without turning your head as much, and the image feels more immersive and natural. The display itself is built on a Sony 0.55 inch micro. Old panel with 108 OP resolution per eye, and a refresh rate of 120 Hz. It also boasts high brightness up to 700 nits and accurate color calibration Delta E3, so that the image quality is crisp, colorful, and visible, even in ambient light. The One Pro also supports adjustable interpupillary distance IPD in two size variants, M size 457 66 mm IPD, and L size for 66 75 mm IPD to accommodate more users' vision needs and avoid blur or edge artifacts. This is a big deal in AR glasses, because if the IPD doesn't match your eyes, the image can feel smeared, distorted, or cause discomfort. On the audio side, the glasses feature built-in stereo speakers and a custom audio chamber tuned by Bose engineers, offering an immersive sound experience without needing bulky headphones. This means you can wear the glasses and hear audio clearly while also maintaining awareness of your surroundings, helpful in shared spaces like aircraft cabins or offices. Since the device is a pass-through, AR glasses rather than a full headset, remains relatively lightweight, about 87 grams, and looks closer to conventional eyeglasses rather than a helmet. In practice, reviewers found it comfortable for extended wear, which supports the idea that these are usable for hours rather than just minutes. In terms of connectivity and compatibility, the One Pro uses a USB-C connector with DisplayPort DP, alt mode support on devices that have it. That means you can connect it to laptops, smartphones that support DP alt mode, consoles via adapters, handhelds like the Steam Deck, and more, basically turning any compatible device into a large virtual monitor. Because of its AR nature, you can place the screen floating in space in various modes, anchor it in one spot, have it follow you, or use a side view mode to peek at it while also seeing the real environment. For example, you might pin a virtual screen in midair in front of you while working, then glance down at your keyboard and still see your actual desk. The electrochromic lenses allow variable transparency. You can dim or darken the lenses so that the virtual screen pops more. Even in bright environments, or adjust to let more of the real world in. This gives flexibility when moving from a bright cafe to a dim home theater environment without having to change lighting dramatically. Use case-wise, the One Pro excels in entertainment. Watching movies, streaming shows, gaming on portable devices, or turning your seat on a plane into a big personal theater. 
it also suits productivity. Using it as a virtual ultra-wide display 171-inch equivalent to extend your workspace while traveling or working remotely without packing a large monitor. There are also possibilities for collaboration and working in hybrid spaces. You could pin your code editor or spreadsheet in front of you. Look at your real keyboard and still have the virtual workspace in view. Ideal for nomads and remote professionals, because you're not fully cut off from the real world. You can still interact with people in your environment, unlike heavy full VR solutions. That said, there are a few caveats to keep in mind. The price is relatively high compared to simpler VR headsets or regular external monitors. If you're only watching occasional content and don't need mobility or AR features, a good external monitor might give you more value. The spatial anchoring, especially the 6DOF version, when used with the optional camera module, is still somewhat experimental. Some reviewers reported drift or occasional instability when moving significantly. So if you're expecting flawless 6 DOF spatial placement in a large room, you may find some limitations currently. Another limitation. Not all devices support DisplayPort Alt mode via USB-C, which means some phones or consoles may need adapters or may not work at full capability. Before purchasing, you'll want to verify compatibility with your phone, laptop, or console. Because this is a peripheral device, Glasses you still depend on the host device for power output. Processing in many cases in video source. The glasses don't replace a full PC, they complement it. They turn your device into a virtual monitor, not a standalone computer unless you pair with optional accessories that augment it. In terms of comfort and fit, IPD matching is critical if your interpupillary distance is outside the supported range 57-75 mm depending on model. You may experience blur or discomfort. Additionally, while weight is low, wearing something on your face for long sessions may still cause fatigue. Use brakes, adjust fit, and ensure good ergonomics. When it comes to battery and portability, since the glasses draw power from the connected device or the optional hub accessory, you'll want to make sure your device can handle output and sustained usage. On long flights or remote work sessions, battery life of your phone laptop may become the limiting factor not the glasses themselves. Regarding software updates and ecosystem, the experience improves with firmware and driver updates, so choosing a device from a manufacturer with active support is beneficial. XRail has shown commitment through firmware updates and accessories. Users should keep firmware current for best performance and compatibility. One more note, the social factor. While the One Pro looks more like regular glasses than a VR headset, Wearing something still visible on your face may draw attention. Consider the environment office, cafe, plane, and the social comfort of using AR glasses. However, many reviewers noted that the One Pro is discreet enough to wear in public without major awkwardness. So who is the XREAL One Pro for? If you're a mobile professional who wants a large virtual display on the go, a gamer with a handheld PC or console who wants immersive visuals anywhere, or a frequent traveler who watches content and wants privacy and immersion, then this device hits many marks. If instead you're someone who rarely uses external monitors, stays mostly at a desk, or doesn't care about AR features, a regular monitor or cheaper headset might suffice. When evaluating whether to invest, ask, will I use the floating screen feature enough? Will I connect to multiple devices? Does my phone laptop support the needed output? Do I travel or work in varying spaces? If the answer is yes, then the One Pro's premium features 57 FOV. Flat prism optics, audio tuned by Bose, high refresh display make it a strong choice. Let's summarize the key features once more. 57 field of view. Sony micro old display at 120Hz, X1 spatial computing chip, electrochromic lenses, dual size IPD support. Lightweight design 87 grams, stereo audio by Bose, USB-C connectivity, and a virtual screen up to 171 equivalent. That combination of features puts it at the top tier of AR glasses currently available for consumers. In terms of future-proofing, AR glasses are still in their early mainstream phase. Oh. The One Pro bridges current devices and the upcoming wave of XR extended reality experiences. XR EAL's ecosystem, including the optional camera module XRL i and accessories like the Beam Pro. Hub signaled that the device is designed to evolve. 
Thus, buying into the One Pro is not just buying a static gadget, but stepping into a growing AR workflow. In practical setup, you connect the glasses to your device via USB-C or adapter if needed. Select the display mode anchor. Follow. Side view. Just size, distance of virtual screen via on-device controls or companion app. Set the electrochromic lens level, and you're ready to go. Then you can open your game movie, code editor or whatever you use, and enjoy it on a huge virtual display while still seeing the real world if needed. For long sessions, adjust comfort. Make sure nose pads fit. Arms of glasses aren't too tight. Check ambient lighting and take short breaks so your eyes don't fatigue. Also use the IPD size that best matches your vision and correct any blur before long duration use. Remember in travel in the One Pro Excels, you can watch a movie on a plane using your phone? Without bothering neighbors with sound, since the audio is personal, have a large screen and a small space, and even dim external distractions with the electrochromic lenses. It effectively turns economy class streaming into something closer to first class like experience. For gaming on handheld devices, pairing with handheld, PC or console lets you emulate a full large screen experience wherever you are, from couch to train to hotel room. You'll want good cable management and possibly an external battery if your device's power output is limited, but the portability bonus is huge. For remote work, you can extend your laptop screen virtually without needing to carry an external monitor, collaborate on the go, and switch locations seamlessly. You'll still need a stable input device, keyboard, mouse, and perhaps docking, but the giant virtual monitor means you're not bound to a desk. Some practical tips. Make sure the host device supports DP alt mode over USB-C, Check whether you'll need an adapter for HDMI devices. Carry a proper case. The included one may mix cables and glasses. Calibrate IPD and lens fit for clarity. Update firmware for best performance. In reviews, one issue was the included case lacked cable separation and could scratch the lenses if the USB-C cable jostled. Also in bright sunlight or outdoor settings, you may need to raise lens tint or brightness. The electrochromic lens helps but may not fully replace a true sunglasses shade in extremely bright conditions. If you plan heavy outdoor use, test the visibility ahead of time. If you share the device with someone else, note that fit, IPD, and calibration vary. Each user may need adjustments to match optimal clarity. While swapping nose pads and adjusting arms help, multiple users will have slightly different comfort levels. In closing, the XREAL1 Pro is a premium AR glasses product that pushes what we think of as a monitor and turns it into a wearable, portable, and immersive experience. It doesn't replace all devices, you still need a host device, compatible output, and some cable adapter awareness, but it redefines flexibility and mobility for viewing and working. For travelers, remote workers, gamers, and tech enthusiasts, this is one of the best options currently available. For casual users who only occasionally use external screens, a more mainstream solution might be more cost effective. But if you want the bleeding edge of personal display tech, the One Pro is worth strong consideration.